Welcome to Slippery Rock University's video presentation on faculty grading using Banner 9. In Banner 9, there are two ways to enter grades. In this video, you will learn how to enter grades through the faculty grading application. Please see our other video for instructions on importing and exporting grades using Excel documents instead of entering through the application. No grading may be imported from D2L at this time. Please note, Grading in D2L and Banner are not the same. Official grading is completed through Banner, not D2L. The class lists listed in Banner are the official class lists for your course. If you have added someone to your D2L class list, that does not mean that they are registered for your course. To begin, please log into your MySRU portal. Next, click on the Faculty tab. In the Course Related Links portlet, please click on Grade Entry, New Banner 9 link. You will have to log in again. At the top, you can choose between midterm grades or final grades. The page defaults to final grades. Please select the appropriate type of grading you are trying to enter. You will also see an option for gradebook, but at this time, we are not utilizing this feature. Once you select midterm or final grades, you will see all of your courses listed here that are eligible for grading. The listing of courses defaults to 10 courses, but you are able to display more by clicking here. On the right, you can search for a course by number or title to display only that course. You are able to see the following information for each course. Grading status, if the grades have been rolled, the subject, course, and section number, the title of the course, the term in which it was offered, and the CRN. For the grading status and rolled columns, you will see the progress of each course. It will say, not started, in progress, or completed. Please note, if a student has withdrawn from your course, the status for both of these columns will be in progress. The rolled column is for academic records and registrations use, so you can ignore this column. To view course details, including the number of ungraded records, click a course, and then click the left facing arrow next to the search bar to reveal the course details box. There are symbols in the middle of the page that allow you to minimize or maximize portions of the screen. The circle in the middle returns the page to the default appearance. To enter grades, select the course that you are wanting to enter grades for. Once a course is selected, you will see the class roster with the following columns appearing as the default. Student name, ID, midterm grades if applicable, final grade, rolled status, last attend date, and hours attended. In the top section of this screen with your course listing, you are unable to alter the columns that appear. However, in this section, you are able to edit the columns by clicking on this button. The class list will appear in the bottom section of the screen. Enter a grade for each student by using this dropdown. If the student has earned an I grade, you will be taken to a second screen where you will see more information about the I grade. You are not able to change the incomplete final grade or the extension date, so please simply click Save. Please see our Incomplete Grade Notes video to learn more about adding notes for students who have earned incomplete grades. Click on Roster to continue entering grades for the rest of the class. If the student has earned an F, N, C, or X grade, you must enter a last date of attendance in the Last Attend Date box. If the student has never attended your course, please enter the first day of the term as the last date of attendance. You do not need to enter a last date of attendance for midterm grades. Click on the calendar to select their last date of attendance. To show you what will happen if you do not enter a last date of attendance for a final grade of F, N, C, or X, I will leave this grade without a last date of attendance. If there are multiple pages of students, you must click Save before moving on to the next page. If there are any errors with the data you entered, a message will appear in the top right corner of the screen. To resolve the errors, scroll down and find the error on the page, usually outlined in red. Correct the error and click Save to continue. Once you have grades entered for every student in the class, the grading status column will change to say Completed. If you have any questions, please contact Academic Records and Registration at academic.records at sru.edu or 724-738-2010.